this for every fourth grader. If you get into, you and your entire family will get into national parks for free. And so that brochure that I put in there will tell you exactly how you can get this pass so you can go visit all of them. There's 424, so it's a lot to do. And at all of these parks, you can do a Junior Ranger book, which is, that is for the Kelly House down in Lincoln. And every park has one, and when you complete it, you get a little badge of your own. And then every park also has a little stamp that you can mark while you're there. Do you know what the Industrial Revolution is? This is a map of the Blackstone Valley here. And this is really why we're so important. It's because of the river itself. It starts up here in Worcester, Massachusetts. So this, the 46 mile stretch of the river, is all downhill. Remember, they use the river as falling, picking up all that speed and power, and they put mills right down here at the bottom to catch all that power. So they could power machines. So, this is the 1835 Throstle spinning frame. Although this machine looks a lot more intimidating, a lot bigger, a lot more uh, intricate perhaps, it's doing the same basic thing that that wooden spinning frame that we saw over there do. It takes two strands of roving and pulls them together through the rollers. High speed twist, wrapping your finished product around the bottom. All the motion that you see come from this machine comes from the very simple action of spinning that wheel. It's amazingly simple and yet amazingly complex. Are we ready? Here we go. And these mills would use machines and they'd let a lot of what they use or make run right off into the river. So you'd have blacksmithing mills letting stuff run off, you'd have grist mills run off, and then you'd have textile mills too. And the textile mills would often let off things like dye. And so they used to say, you can tell what color cloth you can buy tomorrow by what color the river is today. The Industrial Revolution starts around the year 1800, and so we get lots of things running off into the river for 100 years. And by the year 1900, it is a polluted river. And not much was done to clean it up for about 72 years until we get the passing of the Clean Water Act in 1972. And that spurs thousands of people to come out and remove thousands of tons of river choking debris. But so I have three jars up here, and I'm going to kind of demonstrate different types of pollution. Yeah. So sometimes you can't always see the pollutant, but we have a bunch of senses, right? You can touch the water, it'll still feel the same. Hearing it won't do anything. Seeing it, it's not going to do anything. But do you think it smells the same? Go ahead and smell. Yeah. And so we can see that the environment has changed a lot in a very short period, right? For thousands of years, the indigenous people lived here and it was a very healthy environment. They used the river appropriately and they fed off of the vegetation and they didn't do too much to change the actual water. But when the Industrial Revolution started, we started to put dams in the water, we started to reroute things, and use the, pot, the water to power stuff for us. And we also, more importantly, we let everything from the mills go right back into the water. At one point there was only two types of fish, now there's more than 30 types of fish in the river. We still discourage people from eating the fish or swimming in the river, um, but you won't get a rash coming out of the water like you might have in the past. Uh, so we're making concrete steps forward where wildlife is coming back, and then there's talks of using the dams that are in place as hydroelectric power, so green energy. and we're so trying to utilize some of the things that have been put into place in the past to make a brighter future. Get these anadromous fish species back, get green energy, and turn what was really a negative of the Industrial Revolution, lots of pollution and things, into a positive going forward. Recreation opportunities, green energy, and fish back into the river. So